Hey peeps, what's up? Welcome back to my YouTube channel. So today's video, we are going to be doing a vintage spring lookbook. It's gonna be a mix of a lookbook and kind of like a vintage spring outfit suggestion ideas guide. So instead of just showing you the outfits, I kind of wanted to let you know how you can build the outfit, where you can buy pieces to make that outfit. And you might be a little confused because it's definitely still winter. Technically spring doesn't start here until March 20th. But if you're an avid thrifter, you know that the best time to thrift for a certain season is before that season happens. So if you're wanting to find thrifted pieces for spring, you're gonna wanna look now. So most of the pieces in this video I did get from thrift stores, but if you're wanting something in a pinch, you can buy them from websites like Mod Cloth, um, Collective, and a couple others. And then there's also some reseller websites like Poshmark and Etsy. I'm gonna do my best to leave links in the description box you can purchase that are similar. So if I show you a certain skirt, I will do my best to try to find an online dupe so that it is accessible to more people if you wanna find that style. Yeah, that's what we're going to be doing today. A little vintage spring lookbook slash outfit ideas. And real quick before we get into the outfits, here's a quick word from today's sponsor. Hey peeps. So today's video is sponsored by Dossier. If you guys have been subscribed for a while, you're very familiar with this brand and I'm so excited to be partnering with them again. So if you're not familiar with Dossier, basically they are an online perfume company with a risk-free system. So just to kind of give you a rundown of how their business works, find a perfume on their website that you like. All their fragrances are super affordable starting at $20. $29. Once you get your perfume, it comes in a little box like this. And as you can see here, it comes with the main perfume bottle as well as this little tester bottle. So to make sure that you got a scent that you like, you'll use this little tester bottle, maybe for like a day or two, see if it's a scent you like. If you like it, you get to keep the little tester as well as the full size. And if for whatever reason you just decide you don't like it, maybe it's just not the right scent for you, you can return the full size perfume back to them for a full refund within 30 days, no questions asked. And I think that's a really cool system. It's always scary to order perfume online because you never know if it's for sure gonna be your style. So I think that's a really cool way that they do it. That way you can test it out before you commit to it. One thing I really like about their website is a lot of the perfumes they make are actually dupes for high-end luxury perfumes. This one's called Aromatic Star Anise. And basically it is a dupe for Dior Sauvage. And let me tell you guys, it is so comparable to the true Sauvage. It's really shocking how expensive the Sauvage is compared to this and how similar the scents are. I would say this is like a good like 90% match. They are very very similar smell. Personally, I do like to have a more manly smell sometimes. So this will be shared by both me and my husband. So the link to Dossier's website will be in the description box. You guys should totally check them out. It's such an affordable way to get an amazing cologne or perfume. The link to their website will be in the description box. So thank you again to Dossier for sponsoring today's video. And a huge thank you to you guys for supporting me, subscribing to my channel and watching my videos. I obviously wouldn't get these opportunities if it wasn't for you and your support. And yeah, without further ado, let's get into the video and into the outfit. Real quick before we get into the outfits, I just kind of wanted it to explain this lookbook and my process here. So I thought of four different kind of categories of things I like to wear in spring. We're gonna be going through four different categories and then I will be elaborating on how to style those specific pieces up for spring. And first category we've got here is circle skirts. There are two main ways that I love to style circle skirts. The first one is what I did here and that is pair them with a solid vintage button up. And then you just add accessories from there. I threw on this little headband and these retro hoop earrings again, just to give it a little bit of a retro kind of vintage flair. Then I topped off the outfit with a colorful rectangle bag with a little floral scarf tied around it again just to add more color and some vintage inspired details I also forgot to mention every outfit in this video will be paired with a pair of flats you won't see them on screen um, but these are the flats I'll be wearing either these or the same ones in the color brown these green ones match to this outfit but my biggest suggestion with any vintage outfit is to pair it with flats it will easily give any outfit a retro look moving right along to outfit number two technically this is a half circle skirt but you get the point basically the same thing. My second way that I like to style up circle skirts is to pair them with a vintage or vintage inspired t-shirt. For this one, I chose this vintage looking Star Wars t-shirt. Obviously, you can find vintage t-shirts on Etsy or some vintage inspired t-shirts on websites like Big Bud Press or Junk Food Clothing. I decided to add this little Coca-Cola tote because this is the type of outfit I'd wear to an amusement park like Disneyland or Six Flags. It's super comfy but also makes you put together. I know a skirt isn't ideal for those situations, but that's honestly what I might wear. I also thought the red in this bag looked cool with the red in the t-shirt and then to top it off just to make it a tiny bit dressier I added some small gold hoops. It's a fancy touch that ties everything together and here are those flats again. This is the look all complete and we are now ready for a day of cute and casual fun. 
Next category is going to be oversized 90s floral dresses. I know that's super specific, but I'll show you what I mean. I'm a huge fan of these oversized 90s dresses. They are the best way to look put together with minimal effort. You just show up to brunch wearing one of these with some accessories and everyone is going to think you're so cute and that you tried, but really this outfit took you two minutes to throw together. I specifically like these ones that tie loosely in the back because they give your figure just a little bit of shape while also being extremely comfortable. Switching up the shoe, I thought these hot orange sandals would be cute because they are a pop of color against the navy blue and again if this is kind of like a brunch look it dresses them up a little bit. I also threw on a floral necklace to match the dress and decided not to use any earrings and then topping it off with some wicker accessories. One huge suggestion that I have is get a straw hat and a straw bag. They don't have to be vintage but adding them onto a vintage dress especially in spring will just elevate the entire look. And here is another example of the oversized 90s floral dresses. Kind of random, but I like that these usually have a big slit in the front to make them super easy to walk around in. I kept the same necklace and added the small hoop earrings again. I just like to keep it simple with these dresses because again, they are just my go-to when I need to run out of the door, but also look cute. The more floral, the better. So I added this muted tone floral fossil bag. I specifically chose a crossbody bag because they are hands-free, making this kind of a perfect outfit for a spring flea market or farmer's market. You're comfy in your oversized dress and you don't wanna lug around all your stuff on a shoulder bag. You just wanna throw on your matching crossbody and go. Next category is vintage capris. Trust me guys, I hate capris too, but vintage capris are so special in my opinion. They come in lots of fun patterns and colors and a lot of them have comfy stretchy waistbands as well. These pink gingham ones are my absolute favorite pair that I have. I just paired them with a short sleeve vintage turtleneck. I threw on a fanny pack just because I felt like it fit because it's cute. And then if it's a chilly day, you can always throw on a fun and colorful cardigan. Then last but not least, I had to wear these flower earrings because more is more in my opinion when it comes to flowers and the color pink. And here is another pair of vintage capris. These ones are a cute cherry print. I paired them with this hot pink 80s top and I did a little French tuck in the front to honor the OG tan France. I like to keep things really colorful when it comes to these capris, especially because they are normally colorful on their own. And you guys know I have a pair of earrings to match literally anything that I own. So I put on these sharing earrings to match the pants. And then again, if it gets chilly, you can always wear a matching cardigan with your colorful capris. And last but not least, to add even more color, I grabbed the tote bag again. Capris are pretty casual in general, so I think a tote bag totally matches the vibe. And then last but not least, you guys know I had to do a segment on house dresses. House dresses are ideal for spring and summer. I especially love them because they come in so many different patterns and colors. They're usually really unique. If you wanna find one in the thrift store, they're usually in the pajama or lingerie section. So check there, don't check the regular dress section. And they're also usually super cheap. This one is a gorgeous purple floral with a Peter Pan collar. I personally like to button these all the way up to the top. I don't know why, it just looks more vintage in my opinion. Paired them with some pink floral earrings because again, more is more when dealing with the florals. House dresses usually have pockets, so that's just another plus. I like to style house dresses with these silky bandanas. I like to tie them in my hair a couple different ways. First way I like to do it is to tie a knot at the top. Especially if you have bangs, this will just help accentuate your bangs. The second way I like to tie these is good for unwashed hair. You just put the point going in the back and covering the bulk of your hair. I just think house dresses and bandanas pair nicely. I think the key with house dresses in general is just to accessorize. When you do that, most people think they're real dresses and not just dresses you're supposed to wear around the house. And then ending this video with my favorite house dress. This one has an adorable fruit print all over it. I paired it with my strawberry earrings to match the fruit on the dress. And then of course I threw them on with the straw hat. It just matches the vibe of the dress and the fun fruit earrings. And then I added the straw bag because again, why not? This is the perfect outfit for a little farmer's market or maybe just like a little neighborhood picnic type thing or just like anything involving like fruit or a day outside. I just think it's really fun and casual. And that is the last outfit in today's video all complete. All right, you guys, that is it. That's gonna be it for today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know in the comments down below if you liked the video and what kind of styles or lookbook you would like me to put together in the future. 
I hope it was a helpful video and that you liked the outfits. Thank you again to Dossier for sponsoring today's video. I will leave their website linked in the description box. If you guys want to see me style up and put together more thrifted and vintage outfits, feel free to follow me over on Instagram. I post there a couple times a week, so you can always get some fun vintage outfit inspiration there. But yeah, other than that, I think that's going to be it for today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Have a good one. Ha, ha, ha.